Ian, you've brought in Anthony Stracker. What's he going to Stryker, bring? Yeah. What's he going to bring to the team? Well, he's a, a left sider of good experience, 26 year old, really good age. Um, that that has still got the best football ahead of him, I think. But he's uh, he's got a couple of promotions, and um, he can play anywhere down that left hand side. He'll give us um, a bit of pace, uh, a bit of energy, and um, he's a good character as well. I know that's a side of the, the pitch that you've been looking for some cover and, and competition in as well. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, Zane has uh, uh, has been in, uh, has been under the knife, um, for want of a better phrase, and and, and so has uh, Stevie Hamill. So you know it'll be a, a few weeks before before they get back into training. So it was important to bring that left sider in um, to give us a bit of balance. Do you see him primarily as a defender or a midfielder? Is, is he as equally as comfortable doing both? He is, yeah. So um, he gives gives us options in that respect, and that's uh, that was one reason why I, why I targeted him and, and managed to get him, which I'm, I'm I'm delighted about. Yeah. Obviously, this week we've seen Henrik leave, not able to extend his loan. Is there a sense of disappointment from you on that front? Well, I liked Henrik as a player, and you know he um, he was a game changer uh, when he was on top of his game. And um, you know we, he made a decision to to go and pursue his football elsewhere. That's um, that's something we as a club respect, and I, we wish him all the very best. He was a good servant here for for the time he spent. And um, again, I, uh, footballers have to make decisions uh, which is best for for their interests, for their careers. Uh, and Henrik made that decision, so um, so I wish him all the very best. How close are you to a deal for Lewis Lang? I expect that to be done. Within the next hour, um, it's um, you know he trained with us yesterday. Um, we've got the blessing from Stuart Pearce and, and Nottingham Forest. He's a player that was uh, sought after. He was on loan for the first half of the season at Notts County, uh, which I saw him a couple of times um, and had him monitored as well on a couple of other occasions. I um, again I know about his character because speaking to people at Notts County and they actually put a bid in to to buy him. Nottingham Forest decided no, they want to keep him. He'll be their their player for another season, and they were happy for him to come up to the um, to the Scottish Premiership. And and I'm, I'm I'm really really pleased about that because it was a again a coup for the club. You know you've got a few guys who can play that position. What's he going to add to what you've already got? Well, he's uh, a strong player who's comfortable on the ball. He's um, got good pace, and um, you know for for the games that I saw and and, and certainly speaking to the. A couple of the Notts County uh, members of staff, they he brought a, um, saying a calmness and an surety for for someone for for the years that he is, and he'll go on to be a top top player, I'm sure, and and we'll we'll aid him in that uh, development. Is there, is there a prospect of more players coming in for Monday night's deadline? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, that's the uh, that's that's the window for you. I said last week, get the yellow ties out. I'm um, I'm keeping Monday night free. <laughs> no, nobody else coming before the weekend, obviously. But you can sign people up to up, up to the uh, to kick off time. So um, don't rule anything out. We've got one or two feelers out there. We've um, we're asking questions, and and you know if we can add to this squad to to make us stronger, to to give us more competition, then we'll go and do that. Is a replacement for Henrik something you're looking for, or is it now up to the likes of Craig Moore and Lee Irwin to make that sort of role there? Well, I, they've they've staked a claim already. I thought Lee Irwin was excellent last week when he came in, um, given his first start. He he gave the defenders problems. He didn't stay in one area. He was mobile, um, and and comes right to the forefront of my, of my mind. So Lee Irwin has uh, has, has, has staked a claim already, and Craig Moore probably shouldn't have been around the, the squad with the injuries that he's had. And I've I've. I've rushed him in that respect, so I've taken the gamble on that, um, and he's come and done done brilliantly. You know his energy, his um, his character is it rubs off on the others, and um, you know those two have certainly gone and made an impact. How did the move for Straker come about? Did you know him previously? Mm, yeah, I've, I've I've been aware of him. I haven't worked with him before, but um, I've seen him play before, and and I've um, there are people that I know that have gone and, and worked with him. So again, you do your you do diligence, speak to people. Um, Phil Brown down at South End had him and, and was um, you know somebody who liked his qualities, um, just to name one. You know, but um, you know he comes with uh, with good recommendations as well. But I've I've seen the play and that's important. Do you feel a lot, a lot of positivity 
despite the result last week, you know, you had a couple of penalties. Yeah. Yeah, the there's a, a lot to look forward to, uh, and having been able to to put a um, a face to to the voice and and obviously the emails of, of Les Hutchison, you know he's come in this week and he's he's spoken to um, every member of staff at the, at the football club. Um, I've had discussions, they're positive ones, um, and and he's. You know, there is a real, say, freshness about the place now, that there is some clarity in, in where this club's going. Um, and I think for the fans, it's a, uh, a place, hopefully, that they want to be involved with because it's a, I said when I first came, it's a community club. We've got to involve the community. We've got to engage with the community to, to try and make it, a uh, one, a better day and experience on match day for them, but also to make them feel part of this football club and, and feel that, that they've got a part to play in uh, in driving this club forward. The real desire then to, given the, the clarity now, to, to get this kind of new year off to a winning start against St Johnston. That's the aim. And, um, you know, St Johnston will come here and not make it easy for us. But, um, you know, for me, it's how we set about it. Build on the uh, and the positivity of last week as regards the the endeavour, the, uh, the the fans who came saw saw the team fighting for each other, fighting for the, for the club. And... Um, you know, we could have been, as we said, not to, to go over old ground, we could have been two or three goals to the good before they got there first. Um, and it's whether you take those chances and whether you get the breaks. We didn't, but tomorrow we, we may just get those breaks. Is there any other team news ahead of the game? Anthony Straker and Louis Lang looks as though they'll, they'll, they'll come into the squad. Okay. okay. Yep. Magic. All right.